So let's take a look at the uh, new fur shader that we're going to be using on the new wolves and other animals in uh, upcoming uh, expansions of Wolf Quest. So here's our new wolf um, that we've uh, rebuilt from the original wolf from 2007. Right now it has the standard shader on it in Unity here. So let's change over to the uh, this Imperial fur shader that we'll be using here. Um, choose one of those options. Now it's basically the same, a little bit darker because our specular color is already set to darker. But there's no fur showing because our, our settings here are zeroed out. So first of all, let's just take our strand density, which is uh, how many strands per uh, square centimeter, and increase that. Um, doesn't really change anything because the strand length is still zero. So if we slide this up, whoa, that's a little crazy. Um, and uh, um, doesn't look that great, does it? Um, and even if we adjust the uh, strand density, doesn't help because um, there's no noise, there's, it's all just, it's all smooth. So we're gonna drag in a, uh, a noise texture here, and that gives it the, the fuzziness. Um, so now strand density does make a big difference from really thick strands down to really thin strands. So we've just for now put that in the middle, and you can see still looks, uh, looks pretty crazy. We gotta, we gotta stick to some, some lower settings here. So let's, let's uh, find something there. It does give it a little fuzziness there, doesn't it? Um, although maybe want a lower strand density here to look more realistic. Now, that's starting to look like some fur, but of course wolves aren't um, that furry everywhere on their body. Some parts are less furry than others. So we have this um, height map that's just a grayscale texture matched to the uh, wolf texture. Um, that indicates how long fur should be. The darker the color, the shorter the fur. So white is full length and black is um, zero length. So we're gonna drag that here into the control slot. Turn on that as a, activate as a height map. And now suddenly you have the, 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 the face and the legs and the feet. The fur is much shorter because those are, are black or dark in, the, in this control texture. So now when we increase this, obviously we can still go too far but um, we bring it down to something a little more normal and, um, and it's looking more like real fur. Looks like there's still some tweaks I have to do on the texture. There's a little bit of fur sticking out of the chin there, but that's basically um, looking much better now. Um, so there's other things we can tweak here. So if we can um, turn on the bias map, um, what that does is uh, shrinks the mesh to compensate for the extra thickness. You know, that might be a special map one day, but that's not what we would want to normally see here. Um, we can use that to compensate for the height map, so, um, and that's kind of nice. Um, doesn't do a whole lot here. You can see the fur is actually not that long. Um, it does make the legs skinnier, which is kind of helpful, but it also causes some weird stuff in the mesh um, showing some cracks. So for now, at least we're not going to use that at all. Um, other things we can do is the shadow strength, which can be nice in some cases, but I just don't think that looks that good, so I keep that pretty low. Um, rim light around the rim of the body to show light filtering through from other angles. We can turn that on. So just using natural lighting, it, it does do that, although I find that's a little more light than I really want on the, on the belly. Um, so let's try user defined, and then we can choose exactly what color the light is. So we could even uh, make it, you know, crazy red or something like that. Um, probably again here we want to stick more naturalistic, make just a dark gray, and then we can adjust how much that is. That covers the whole body. So let's turn this down so it, it really is pretty subtle, but it still gives a nice extra little highlighting around the edges that, that looks more realistic. So that's basically the, the setup, and then we can rotate the wolf around and see how he looks from different angles. Um, and then just keep uh, we just keep tweaking, put them in the scene, run around some, try different times of day and different lighting, um, and see what uh, looks best. 